well. I am Vanshika Sharma from Electrical 3rd year at NIT Jalandhar. Today, I am here to share with you my Amazon internship interview experience. In this video, I will give you a walk through through the complete process for Amazon 2 month internship hiring and also at the end, I will share with you a little bit of preparation guide. Basically, Amazon came as an on-campus opportunity on our college in the in around at around July end, and we applied for it. So, so now let's begin with the process for Amazon hiring. So, on twenty fifth July, a form came in, and we had to fill that form and upload our resume to apply for this internship. And on twenty ninth July, the first online assessment round was scheduled. The first online assessment round was conducted on the hacker rank platform and it was a non proctored assessment. It consisted of two sections and the first section was the hands on programming section and the second section was the worksite assessment section. The first section was of 70 minutes and we were given two coding questions which were completely DSA based. So 70 minutes for two questions. right? The questions were uh, broadly based on mainly strings and arrays and DP you could say. Um, one random tip I would like to give to you is that please be comfortable with using maps because they help a lot. My first question which was uh, given to me, it was on based on uh, a weights array was given to us and uh, there was a rule that we could either take two packages at a time of the same weight or three packages of the same weight at a time and we had to tell them the minimum number of trips that were required to completely deliver all the packages all right so that question was uh, uh, based on arrays and dp so that could have been done easily the second question was uh, based on strings and uh, some strings functions so it was a log register login logout kind of thing and you had to read the string and use some string functions so it was basically a string question both the questions could be completed in 70 minutes though the second question was a little tricky so um, like a wide variety of questions were shared to all the students uh, others uh, more mostly the questions were on strings and arrays but there were some questions that were on trees also so be comfortable with the topics that's all after completing the section one which is the hands-on program section was 70 minutes we proceeded on to the section two which was the work cell assessment now please note that many students say this very lightly but it isn't supposed to be taken lightly it has very simple and casual behavioral questions like what we did in the situation and how is it like uh, the situation question which we usually encounter in our uh, in, uh, when we work in an any work environment so you had to answer those questions what we were mo most likely to do what we were not and it was it would hardly take you 10 to 15 minutes to complete the questions there were 20 to 30 questions and that was all that was in the round one for Amazon internship hiring. Mm. After this round, the result for this round was released on August 4, 2022, wherein 166 students were shortlisted for the interview, like face to face interview. So, we received a mail that a face to uh, interviews will be conducted on Amazon Chime platform and they will be conducted on 12th of august from 9 am onwards so like those days were like very crucial days like so for the second round which was a technical interview round on amazon chime it was on 12th of uh, august and the duration was approximately one hour for everyone so we received the chime link and the slots uh, the slot for all the students a day prior to the sh scheduled day and my interview was personally scheduled at 4 pm uh, also many students had the interview postponed pre -born. so like uh, don't get panicked in this situation so stay calm your interview will definitely happen all right so yeah i joined uh, now coming back to my interview i joined the time link like four to five minutes up before the interview uh, was scheduled and my interview joined at four he was a really cool and friendly person he started off by introducing himself and then he asked me for my introduction. I talked about my education, my interest in exploring new technologies and the one I had tried my hands on. I mentioned a little about my backend project that I have been working on then and also about my extracurricular interests like debating and my achievements. He then asked me follow up questions on a little bit of uh, generic questions though, on my uh, backend project and also my debating event. 
then he asked me if I was comfortable on okay uh, before that uh, also to me personally I wasn't asked much questions on resume and on CS fundamentals but there were a lot of students and Amazon interviews typically they do ask questions on the CS fundamentals so be sure you cover them too before your interview so CS fundamentals and be completely rock hard solid on your resume everything that I've written on a resume you should be clear about each and every one of them right so we, I, he asked that if I was comfortable with coding, so he shared the live coding platform which I was directed to join. He then, exp- then what happens in interviews is that the interviewer, they give you, uh, they'll uh, give you like, you have to write it from scratch first of all. There is no like pre-coded, uh, like pre-anything. Like usually when we use lead code or GH or anything, there is like, you know, infinite things written. But when you are in interview, they usually make you write a notepad or something that they have given. So uh, one thing to learn about is that. Secondly, uh, one key point in interview is that you have to share your thought process. Like that's the key in everything. You have to share your thought process. So whatever, what they want to know is how you think, how do you approach a problem. When you see a problem, what is the first thing you think about? How do you decide which algorithm you have to take? Do you think about the space and the time complexities? That's what they're looking for, right? So we share a life for you and then we discussed and need was and then what happens is like you have to discuss your approach with them like whatever you're thinking like should i use this should i use that so you have to discuss your approach with them they'll help you throughout the process okay be calm they'll help you throughout the process and once you're finalized with the approach then you can proceed to the coding so my first question was a binary tree based question so i was given the root of the binary tree and i had to split the binary tree into two sub trees by removing one edge so that the product of the sum of the trees is maximized so we had some discussion on the questions. I told that um, I practiced these. So I had some approach, kind of idea of the approach that I was gonna take. And that firstly said that we had to maintain the total sum of the tree as a separate function, and then uh, calculate some of the subtrees. Then I would basically use GFS traversal to traverse the tree. He got me stuck on the point that which edge would exactly be splitting the trees and which two trees would be splitting. So I got a little confused and answered incorrectly at the be- beginning. But then I corrected when I was. Uh, writing my code so it wasn't much of an issue and then he helped me throughout the process he was pretty friendly and calm all right and then he asked when i was satisfied with my attempt i did a dry run and i explained him as to what works why like which step is working and how is it working and everything and dry running on the given test cases and also introducing new edge test cases on your own is one of the important things that you can do in an interview to get brownie points i would say and he asked me if I was sure and I was like, yeah, it's fine. So he asked me follow up question on the time and space complexity. Now, you may neglect this, but time and space complexity are really, really important. I know we all think about time complexities, but space complexity, we may neglect them a little bit. No, we can't because I was actually stuck on space complexity. They asked me about the trees and everything. So I was able to answer it, obviously. Uh, but uh, it was uh, like how where they got me on, on the space complexity of the algorithm that I had proposed. So in 35 minutes, I completed my first question. So now moving on to the second question. The second question was um, basically on the next great element algorithm, if you have heard of it. Uh, we had, it was given an array and you had to replace the element with the next greater element on its right. And if there wasn't any greater element, we had to replace it by minus one. So actually I had not encountered any such question before. I mean, there were similar questions in minor research, but that wasn't, you know, going to be applied here. And they were looking for the next greater algorithm, next greater element algorithm, and I was not aware about it. But uh, when we discussed the project, I mentioned about sorting and about index, sorting the index and sorting the elements, and also using maps and making a pair and storing. I, I like I proposed some two to three approaches, like for fifteen minutes. We discussed it throughout, and he was like, "You're going on the right path, but you're not exactly there." And then it struck to me that I could use stack. So stack was the correct answer. So. I explained him how we could show the index in a stack and then pop it and then uh, we would uh, you know get the next letter element by using stack so he was satisfied with this approach and by now one hour one hour has already had already elapsed so he was like satisfied with the approach and we didn't he didn't ask me to code it completely the pseudo code was enough and this was how my second question was updated he also asked me some follow-up questions on this time and the space complexity of the code and that was it and that was it that was how my second uh, in question was done after that he asked me if i had any questions to ask him so i asked him what exactly did he do at amazon and what's the work culture like so he answered that and 
then he mentioned something about the leadership principles which i was very which i had read about so we had a little bit of discussion on that and that's all that's how went to be concluded i thanked him and then i left um the results were declared on august 23 2022 and i was on of the slip so now for the preparation what i would say is like even if you're a beginner or anything first of all stick to one set and you know when you start coding you're like uh, overwhelmed because there are just so much material out there so many websites so much uh, to do right so take a, a website that you like the interface that you feel like yes i want to go there and do some questions so it could be lead code because lead code has a goal discuss section okay i'm not kidding uh the discuss section has solutions and you know when you stop and you get an answer you learn you learn you actually learn so you could use in read code i would suggest you um out of all the sites and interview it i personally have been following it and i am in love with that interface and side like the fine questions it gives you the you know like real feels so and i personally did my seek course in like the first year and the second year and, year and i started exactly coding like really really coding thing like here feel free to reach me if you have any doubts or queries or anything you'd like to discuss with me um my linkedin and instagram file will be shared with you Thank you for watching and all the best guys.